Hi everyone and welcome to the Flux Immersive channel. Today we're going to look at how to configure Spat Revolution and Nuendo by using the Local Audio Path mode in an Audio Mix setting. The Local Audio Path mode is the simplest way to connect Spat and Nuendo when running them both from the same machine. This mode enables the exchange of audio and automation information between the two programs. In this example, we're going to mix down a small session containing four instruments to three different formats. Binaural, Dolby Atmos 5.1.4 and 22.2. Nuendo doesn't require any particular settings in order to function in this mode, but like all projects at the mix down stage, we're going to want to set the audio buffer size to the maximum possible value. We'll begin by making sure that no audio drivers are selected in the preferences in SPAT Revolution. The sample rate and box size will be automatically configured once we've created our connection. We have here our instrument tracks, some are mono, some stereo, and we also have a marimba recorded using three microphones that I've routed to an LCR bus. All my instruments are routed to a bus that I've called Stereo Mix. This enables me to maintain the control of the direct signal and if needed, listen to the instruments without going through the spat. By turning down this fader, I can guarantee that I'm listening only to the sound coming back from the spat on my stereo output. Soon as we're going to export our mix in different formats, we must create different audio output connections. The first in stereo, that should be the default in Nuendo. One in 5.1.4 for our Dolby Atmos and a third in 22.2. Even if you don't have enough outputs on your audio interface, nor an adequate sound system, be sure to assign a couple of physical outputs in order to avoid any problems during playback. We'll now create three return buses that will be receiving the return signal from the SPAT. The group tracks are perfect for that. I'll create the first one in stereo that will receive the binaural signal. I'll call it simply binaural mix. The second to receive the Dolby Atmos 5.1.4 signal. I'll name that simply 5.1.4 mix. And finally, the last one in 22.2 for the 22.2 signal. I'll call it 22.2 mix. Now, on each of the tracks that we want to send to the SPAT, we'll insert the SPAT Revolution Send plugin. We must now activate the local audio pass mode on each instance. I can do that as I add each plugin, or by holding the control key, I can activate it on all of them in one go. And now on our return bus, binaural 5.1.4 and 22.2, I'm going to insert the SPAT Revolution Return plugin. And as its name suggests, this will take care of routing our three mixes from SPAT back into Nuendo. Likewise, if I hold down Control, I can activate the local audio pass mode on all the different instances of my SPAT Revolution Return plugins. Also, I advise you to delete the name of the track in the plugin. Like this, the sources will be correctly named in SPAT Revolution. In SPAT, our send plugins have appeared in the form of inputs, and they carry the names that I've just given them. At the bottom, we have our three instances of the SPAT Revolution Return plugin in the form of outputs. As for the marimba, it appears here in 2.1, which is the default setting for three-channel inputs. I need only select LCR for its speaker arrangement. We'll now make our connections. For that, I'll select all my input objects and a first output, for example, the binaural and I'll click on Connect Selected, or Command or Control in Windows, and L. 
This automatically creates corresponding sources and even connects a stereo room to my binaural output. Soon as we want to mix in binaural, I need only select my room and choose binaural as the stream type. We'll then connect our second output in 5.1.4. For that, I'll create a second room to which I'll connect my existing sources. I'll change the stream type of my room to 5.1.4. I'll create a master object and I'll connect the three objects together. Same process for our 22.2 output. A new room that I'll switch to 22.2. I'll create a master object and connect the three elements, not forgetting to connect my sources to this last room. Now let's check that everything's okay. I'll begin by putting all my rooms in SPAT. Listening to the first one, we indeed have the binaural path coming through the binaural mix bus. The second should be the 5.1.4 in the 5.1.4 mix track. I can't hear this because the video is in stereo and my 5.1.4 outputs are connected to other hardware outputs. And my last room, corresponding to the 22.2. That's coming back through the 22.2 mix track. It will be very interesting to be able to listen to what's happening on the 22.2 bus. For example, if I'm at home and I don't have 24 speakers at my disposal, I might still need to listen to what's happening on this bus to be able to work. So what I'll do is, I'll create a new return. I'll call it 22.2 Binaural Monitoring. In Stereo. I'll insert the SPAT Revolution Return plugin on this track. I'll rename this one 22.2 Binaural Monitoring. And I'll activate the Local Audio Path mode. Now, back in SPAT, my output object is there and I'm going to connect it to my master output in 22.2. In order to do that, I'll use a binaural monitoring object that'll connect both to the 22.2 master and the binaural monitoring output. Like that, I'm able to listen to what's going on in binaural in my 22.2 room. So, now that we've finished our connections with SPAT, we can begin mixing. I've just finished the first mix down. However, I'll need to make some automations. To do this, I need only enable the right automation for the trombone track, for example. Press play and manipulate the trombone. By displaying all automations, we can see that six parameters have been created. There's the position X, Y, Z, as well as the azimuth, elevation and distance. These two sets of parameters are duplicates and can create conflict during playback. So my advice is to delete one of them. I'll choose the position X, Y and Z. And I'll check that the automations are being read correctly. Now that our mix is finished, we'll bounce it down in all three formats. Checking first that the faders on the three return buses are at unity gain, and that the binaural monitoring and stereo mix buses are at minus infinity. In the export options, I'll choose multiple export. That way we can bounce all our mixes at the same time. And it's very important to export in real time. Now that the export is done, we have our three mixes that we wanted in binaural stereo 5.1.4 and 22.2. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you soon on the Flux Immersive channel.